A large organization's development value stream starts at the highest level by defining strategic objectives as a base for major initiatives. The first processes align with business needs and establish desired outputs and outcomes. Processes in the value stream's middle outline and support the implementation of initiatives. The flow moves into the responsibilities of middle management to ensure funding, costs, solutions, resources and policies are considered. The final part is where the actual development is carried out. If everything does not work as intended, the flow may iterate through change management. Many units and their processes are involved, not in a strict linear sequence, but in a complex value stream network. The system development process may be central, but it cannot act alone. Let's see how this process is usually documented. For development teams, the first step may be backlog refinement, where a feature is defined and prioritized. The feature then flows through the process until it's signed off. This example represents a linear sequence, usually called waterfall development. In reality, the work order may be flexible depending on the need and opportunity to improve. When Mr. Manager is invited to a workshop on this detailed level, he's likely to lose interest quickly. Even if multiple teams work on a complex smoke test, it doesn't align with a conventional understanding of organization-wide alignment. The value stream level provides leadership with a macro perspective necessary for strategic improvements and helps top-level managers understand their organization's performance.